Thanks for tuning in for episode number three of Saturday Coffee Break. Today we start with part one of a three-part series looking at the golf swing. Now the golf swing is complex. There's many components that we could talk about, but what I want to focus on in this series is the mobility or motion that we must have in our thoracic spine or mid-back while maintaining a stable lumbar and pelvic region. So when we're in our golf swing and we're in our stance, we need to have stability through the lumbar spine and the pelvis so that we have a good foundation for power development, but we also have to have mobility in the thoracic spine in order to make our way through the back swing and the follow through. So I have two simple techniques that I use with athletes and clients in the beginning stages when I'm trying to get them to understand that we need to be stable in one region and mobile in another for the golf swing. The first one is called open the book, and the second one is called the windmill. The windmill is a progression of open the book. So let's start with open the book. What you're gonna need is a foam roller or something that's firm because we're gonna be placing our leg on it. You're gonna lay it on the ground. You're gonna lay right next to it. Your bottom leg is gonna be straight. Your top leg you bring up at 90 degrees at the knee and 90 degrees or so at the hip. You're gonna lay down with both hands, with your palms together, arms outreached like this. The first step of the open the book exercise is making sure that we're applying gentle pressure with our top leg into the foam roller. By doing this, we're activating some muscles that help us realize how to keep our spine and our pelvis stable. So a gentle pressure down into the foam roller, your palms together, head relax. If you need a pillow, you can put it here. And what you're going to do is take your top hand and come up and over like you're opening a book. Nice, slow, controlled motion. I would do about 20 of these on each side. And the idea is, as we're putting pressure here, we're stabilizing the spine, the lower spine, and we're getting mobility or movement through our thoracic spine. Now, if you get to a point and you can't open as far as I can, you get to this point saying you feel tightness in your back or a little bit of a stretch, it's okay to hold that for a second and then come back. Now, a progression from this is called the windmill. The starting position is the same, the palms are together, the, the top leg is putting pressure into the foam roller. And what you're gonna do is have some overhead flexion added to this. So instead of coming up and opening like a book, you're going to take this top hand, scrape it along the ground, turn the hand and loop around. And then come straight back, turning the hand back over and putting it here. This is a little bit more complex. It adds a little bit more motion. But these are two great exercises to help improve that thoracic mobility. So like I said, this is the first part in a three-part series and what I'm going to be doing in this series is progressing from a non-weight bearing position lying down where we're having things help us keep stable in one area and mobile in another and I'm going to be going to a semi non-weight bearing and then a weight bearing position to show you how to progress through them. So I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe it's going to be nice this weekend to get out for a round of golf. Try them out beforehand. Let me know. Make a comment in the video. Otherwise I'll see you next week for another part of Saturday coffee break.